and welcome back to my channel. I've been waiting for a little package from Music Map by Twitter.com. Um, it has finally arrived, so I wanted to show you the movies that I have got. I have not actually watched them yet, so I can't let you know what they're like. But if you guys have watched them, can you leave a little comment in the box below and let me know what you guys think of them. Starting off with Tim Burton's Big Eyes with Amy Adams. She created it, he sold it, and everyone bought it. I seen the trade of this a while back, but I literally couldn't find the DVD anywhere. So I finally got it, and I've got to go around to watching it now. Let me know if it's any good. I think it is, because I love Tim Burton, but it might actually be one of his bad ones. But it does say at the bottom, Tim Burton's best film in years. And it was out in... I don't actually know. But I'll watch it anyway. This one here is quite an old one, but I can't remember seeing it. With Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. Unbreakable. As much of a movie buff as I am, I have not watched Unbreakable. But apparently it's one of one of the good ones let me know what you guys think if you've watched it if it's any good I have not watched any of these yet as I've already said but the reason I got this one here was for one reason and that was Robin Williams Based on true events, the night listener. It's the new sixth sense total film. You'll never know who's listening. Inspired by true events, so I cannot wait. Who's under the skin and stays there? Dark, chilling, and full of twist. Oh, the perfect thriller. See, now that sounds really good. But again, if you haven't watched it, let me know. But I will be watching it this week. So then I can let you know next week. Maybe. Again, this is another one based on true events. True story behind the scandal that shot the world. Spotlight. Yes. The best film you'll see in years. Quite a few people in. I again, I've never ever seen this, but it is the journalist of the Boston Globe, and I can't wait to see it. Everyone likes the true event story, right? Okay, this one here I got because I am a huge Disney fan, and I I don't even know what it is, but once. Upon a Halloween. Pretty fitting actually for this time of the month, don't you think? What's my Halloween? Obviously the stories of the evil villains. And you've got games and everything on this, so that should be fun. I'm a child. It's okay. Last, but no means least, I love Morgan Freeman. Absolutely love the dude. And this one here come up. The contract. Every killer meets his equal. I'm not actually sure what it's about. I'm thinking that... I think Morgan Freeman's the bad guy in this one. So I can't wait. I actually find out. Clock is ticking and the contract is almost complete. The only thing standing between an assassin and his target is a father who must protect his son. 